You can tell that I, I'm late. What happened was I was trying to get a little food in. Yes, 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 yes. For once I was hungry, like really, really hungry. So I was there trying to like stuff my face as we would call it and didn't realize that five minutes went by so like so, so fast. However, I am here and it is Sunday to chat with Chichi Beauty. How are you all doing? It's a great day here in New York City. I am feeling good. My makeup is not yet done, but I'm on and we're gonna talk about eyes today. We are gonna talk about puffy eyes. We're going to talk about dog circles. We're going to talk about eye bags and crows of feet. Now they're all different. Okay. Eye bags is not the same as puffy eyes. Neither is it the same as dark on the eye circles, nor crows of feet. So what we're going to do today, we are going to break them up in groups. We're going to talk about them separately we're going to start out with crow's feet and then we're going to move on to dark circles and then we're going to move on to eye bags and then puffy eyes okay so whatever issue it is that you have stay tuned we are going to address it today all about the eyes all about the areas around the eyes now guys what issue is it that you have do you have puffy eyes do you have dark circles do you have eye bags? And some of you guys, do you have crow's feet? Welcome, 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 welcome to our moderator of the chat, Lucy. Let's give Lucy a warm shout out and thank her for being faithful and dedicated to weeding out the, you know, trolls as they would call them and the chat so definitely thank you so much for doing this for us lucy now we also have members on the channel and the chat if you see people with their name written in green it means they are a member of the chichi beauty channel you yourself can become a member so that when you come on the chat your name will be highlighted by clicking the join button below when you click on the join button you will see a set of tears and a set of things that is offered to you, which we don't normally offer on the regular channel here once you become a member. It's also a recurring fee, but it's very, very cheap. We start out like with $1.99. Pretty cool to be a member. You get special attention. You get a chance to, to um, choose topics. You get a chance to interact with me more you get a chance to even ask me personal questions do live video just more of a one-on-one -on -one if you become a member you're already subscribed you could take it a little further okay guys so we are here and a lot of you have been sending a lot of emails about dark circles and puffy eyes and off late i noticed a lot of crow's feet so we're going to talk about crow's feet to begin with but just before we do that let us do a little bit of a shout out since this is important for our channel and also important to keep our subscribers happy so gina gina was the first person on the chat happy sunday to you Chrissy Cooking, welcome again. And we have Jill, which is one of our member. Happy Sunday to you, Jill. Thank you for always, always, always supporting. We have Bill Foster. First time I'm seeing this name. Constant Mafoma, regular on the chat. Elizabeth, let's so so. And um, we also have Loretta, who is a, a member of the channel also. Welcome, welcome members. We also have um Nora Yo Yuson, I think that is. And we also also have um, Pranag, Pranag, first time seeing you on the chat. Mohammed, um, Russian, you were here last week. Welcome back. Um, happy Sunday, um, especially to dear Chichi and everyone out there. I'm up early today. It's 5 11 a.m. Monday morning in Malaysia. So it's pretty early someplace. It's pretty late someplace. And it's the middle of the day someplace like in California. Here in New York is 4 40 p.m. in the afternoon. We also have um, Renee 
um Renea, I think it's pronounced Blessed Sunday. And uh, we also have um Magdalene, who is a member also of the channel. Welcome, welcome to all the members and make up forever, not yet a member, but a tired subscriber that has been here basically from a day one. And we're gonna talk about the eyes. Hello, Rita. How are you? Another diaded member on the chat. Now, guys, you know they have this new thing on YouTube where you could actually make your 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 um your handle on YouTube um reveal like no you can actually make whoever you subscribe to reveal the time that you subscribe to that person i was um blown away i was going through and some people they do have a red mark on it now and i'm so pretty surprised to see some people have been with me for like three years it's actually a wonderful thing especially when you do a chat like mine and you could see that people you know subscribe for so so long and it's still a round they have not gone anywhere they're still here supporting another member we need to shout out is alex d and alex d is a faithful subscriber and a faithful member of the channel now what about wrinkles under the eyes they used to be puffy i start drinking more water and taking vitamin e and the puffiness is gone now i need to tighten the skin while reducing the wrinkle so gently and that is why we are going to start with crow's feet now if you are here and you know what crow's feet is feel free to comment hello Lorna nurse how are you i see pauline c on the chat hello my cousin pauline how are you doing i hope to see you soon we have florence fro good evening and um selma jitzel how are you now if you know what crow's feet are feel free to comment if you have them feel free to comment if you know the time when you start getting them feel free to comment so we're going to take this 10 minutes and we're going to dive right into crow's feet now for those of you who are not familiar with the terms crow's feet what we're simply saying is that you starting to have the wrinkles right here right here right here you start to see creasing like that okay and sometimes it extend all the way to the under eyes that is what is known as crow's feet now people can actually start getting crow's feet as early as in the 20s guys believe it or not you can start to see the sign of crow's feet as early as in your 20s okay so be prepared for some of you who have not yet started to see it and for some of you who are much older like myself that has not yet started to see crow's feet it is really coming one way or the other now where i am concerned i'm thinking that because i am obsessed with my eyes to be honest, no joke. I'm obsessed with the ears around my eyes. And that is one place on my face. You guys might think that I do a lot of, you know, outer um, areas on the face, but you would not know how much I care for my eyes. I go crazy when it comes on to my eyes. So I don't know if it's because I've been using so many remedies on my eyes and be dedicated to it, why I don't start to see the crow's feet, but at 50 years old, for most people they already have and mine should be there, however it's not and I'm grateful for that. But for you guys, we have a lot of remedies that can help you with those crow's feet. And also if, when you start to have a lot of crow's feet, or let me just use the word wrinkles at the side right here, it could actually age you. It tend to show your age more. I was watching um, a video with um, Dr. Oz and he was talking about um, aging, like how some people age. And they now have this mach machine where you could actually place your face in the machine and the machine will analyze your skin. And when it analyzes your skin, it's gonna tell you your age in terms of how your skin is looking. One of the, the, one of the thing that the machine do analyze is crow's feet. So if you already have wrinkles right here on the corner of your eyes the machine is going to take five years of your actual age if there's no crow's feet the machine is going to add five years um 
no crossfit the, if, if there's crossfit it's gonna have five years and if there's cross it, what am i saying if there is no crossfit it minus five years and if you have crossfit it had five years so at the end of the 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 the, the scan the machine would actually give you your skin age okay now i know if i go under that machine i am going to subtract five years because i don't have crossfit and i am going to think and basically you know be proud and say it's because of the natural remedies now how do we get these things it's all about the skin it's all about aging it's all about sun damage it's all about the skin losing its elasticity and also guys believe it or not when you get all the crow's feet that could be due to what to to the fact that you don't take care of the areas around your eyes now as i said anyone can get it and it start from as early as in the 20s so i'm going to give you some remedies that you can use to get rid of your crow's feet if you have them and also guys give us your remedies that you are using if you already have crow's feet we're going to prevent and we're going to get rid of um deborah galloway happy sunday happy sunday to you alex no wrinkles crow's feet at the corner just under the eyes they just showed up within this year and that is what is happening guys things just start to show up when you least expect the video i'm going to post tomorrow is going to be about skin tags and you guys should support that video by watching it I'm not strained. I'm just giving a little commercial about the video for tomorrow. Now, what happened for me personally, I started to see the signs of skin tags on my face. And I noticed that a lot of people out there do have skin tags on their face when they start to get to a certain age, like my age. Some people get it earlier and some people get it much later. Okay. But the skin tags is going to start coming up, guys. Be prepared for it. It's going to come up mostly like on your neck and they're normally like very very fine ones neck and on your face they have um stuff that you can do like you could do laser or whatever but i am treating mine with my natural home remedies trying to get rid of these little skin tags that is popping up so watch that video tomorrow guys we are going to be doing the skin tag remedy and it's going to be different from the other skin tags remedies that i post because i am personally using it to treat my skin tags that just came out of nowhere so don't miss tomorrow video okay so now let's get back to talking about crow's feet all right um on girl h-o-n-e-g-l to puffy eyes and skin tags all right so guys we are going to give you some remedies that you can use if you have crow's feet now what we're trying to do is to get rid of the wrinkle first of all first of all i actually did this research and what is a very a very good way to actually exercise that area so that it could decrease the fine lines and wrinkles the crow's feet believe it or not is blinking Ooh, ooh, ooh. that was like a little surprising to me but then i start to do it and i realized that oh this actually could really work what happened when you sleep there's no blinking going on at all when well some people sleep and blink a little maybe when they're dreaming and that's another story but when you sleep is not blinking when you are awake and your your eye movement is always blinking now if you just practice to blink your eyes a couple of times for a few minutes per day you're definitely doing it for yourself not the natural way but just blink fast like this stop that is going to help with the crow's feet and also it's going to help to open your eyes wider and that's another topic i was researching so you just blink blink and it, when you blink it's exercising this area right here see it's exercising this area so you just do it excessively and it's going to help with those crow's feet i am yet to prove it but scientifically it sounds like it's really could work so i'm just sharing that with you and whoever want to try it go ahead and try it i am trying it although i don't see the the the, the crow speed but i'm preventing okay all right guys so avocado i talk a lot about avocado these days and it is for a reason the reason i talk about avocado so much is because i'm doing this everlasting research on avocado and oh boy i'm finding things 
avocado is like the main thing out there for your skin. It is good for crow's feet. Another ingredient, and we could dive further in the avocado later, like stuff that is in it that is good for the crow's feet. We also have the very true and faithful green tea. Okay, the very true and faithful green tea is going to help with those crow's feet. We also have the very true and faithful aloe vera gel that is going to help with those crow's feet. And we also have shea butter that is good for crow's feet. Coconut oil is good for shea's, um, for crow's feet. We also have the very faithful, anything to do with the eyes, uh, cucumber. Now, I gave you a list of ingredients that you can use for your crow's feet, but I'm sure some of you know how to use them and some of you don't. So I'm going to actually tell you how you can mix a few of these ingredients to take care of the areas around your eyes and to diminish or prevent your crow's feet. If you're liking today's topic, guys, give the video a thumbs up, show your support. And also the comments are very, very important. Comments to show your support and also to show that you're a part of the channel. I know a lot of you watching, you don't comment, but commenting is also good. It shows that you are actively involved in the channel. And not only that, it really and truly helped the channel, especially the live chat. Okay. All right, so we have um, someone is talking about a commercial on the chat. I have not yet seen that, but um, I, I don't watch much TV, so I probably that's why I don't see it. Kishiro, how are you doing? How is it going in Jamaica? What it is going on in the kitchen out there? Are you making like rice and peas? Do you guys still do beetroots and carrots? Those are two other ingredients that I just didn't mention that is actually good for your eyes, especially your crow's feet and your puffy eyes and your eye bags, beet and cucumber. I just switch a little, you know, talking about food. But yes, we're going back to crow's feet. And I'm looking to see if there's anyone asking any question about crow's feet. So we have Mohammed, um, Russian. Um, I have slight eye bags but use the cold green tea bags to reduce it. Yes, it does go away. Chichi, your recipe, the parsley too, have reduced my eye bags. And guys, I'm just trying to hold out not to get to that parsley yet because that's one thing that I use. And that vitamin K, and we're going to talk about it. All right, so thank you for that comment. Okay, so we have Sharon um, Dokes, I think. Parsley and Vaseline, very, oh boy, they gone. I, I don't even know why my eyes just zoom in on the parsley. Of course I want to talk about the parsley, but I'm just waiting. I'm trying to be organized, guys, you know, like, you know, section off the chat by talking about crow's feet first, which is what we're talking. Our time for crow's feet is up anyway, because it was supposed to be in the first 15 minutes of the show. Now, let's just quickly tell you some things that you also could do to prevent getting crow's feet at the early age or if you already have them to have to diminish you can start by drinking a lot of water and we preach that every day i have some water here i am trying to do believe it or not i'm trying to do um five of these and these are 16 ounces i'm trying to drink five of these per day okay because i'm trying to flush the system out when your system is clean it also reflects on your outside appearance so trying to drink up the water is a good cheap remedy of you know taking care of your system inside and outside as a whole so you need to hydrate the skin okay and you can also use a good eye cream that have spf okay you can also massage that area with the little trick i show you and before that i used to be doing the little tapping action and this is boots in the circulation. I was going to talk a little bit about the layer of the skin today when it comes on to this era, but I did that last week and some of you guys were like, oh, too much of this science thing. Let's go. So avocado, a good way to use the avocado to get rid of the crow's feet, guys, is to just crush it or blend it. And when you're going to do, when you're done with that, you are going to add a little bit of a either green tea or matcha powder. If you have any of those, blend those up, tip a little bit of a 
avocado oil or a little bit of a coke. As a matter of fact, just tip any little oil you have, especially one that contains vitamin E, blend it up, and then what you do, you just dab it here on your crow's feet. Now, because we're using avocado, guess what, guys? You don't have to rinse it off. When you blend that avocado, it can actually disappear in your skin when you just rub it out like that. So this is one quick and easy remedy to get rid of your crow's feet that you can actually use overnight. Just to put a thin layer. I don't have a video with this combination, but not every video you know, have to be video, you can get it here. So just mix the avocado, run about two ounces of avocado, whip that up and just dab it right here. Circular motion and leave it overnight, rinse off in the morning. Use it every night if you can. And if you have a cream that you use, you can also put the cream at the bottom and layer it at the top, no cream, this is your cream. Use it as long as you wish and you are going to blown away. That avocado is a no joke when it comes on to these things. So there you get a quick and easy remedy that you can use to get rid of your crow's feet. Now we're going to just close off crow's feet right now, guys. And we're going to move on to what a lot of you want to hear about. And that is the dark on the eyes circles. Dark on the eyes circles. What costs those? We all know that some, sometimes it is genetics. We also know that they tend to appear more pronounced in darker skin tone. And that is a given fact. We also know that lack of sleep can cause your dark on the eye circles. We also know that a dehydrated skin can cause your dark on the eye circles. And let me see if I put any notes on this because I'm not so good with this note thing, guys, but I'm trying. And for the elderly too, when you tend to get a little older, you can start to see the dark on the eye circle. A big factor, guys, is stress. I have a friend and she's going through some situation right now. And uh, every time I talk to her, it's like I'm just staring at the under eyes. It's so dark. I've never seen a person transform so much when it comes on to their skin just because of the issues that they have going on. And with that issue comes stress. And that stress just take a toll under the eye. So stress, guys, is one of the factors that can give you dark under eye circles along with age, lack of sleep. And sometimes, you know, for some of you guys, it's all about circulation. So we are going to dive in and we're going to talk about, you know, important ingredients and natural remedies that can help with the dark on the eye circles. All right, Lucy, vitamin E. Okay, so Lucy is actually giving you guys some tips and also telling you where you could get some of these amazing remedies that we, you know, mentioned on the channel. All right. So we also have um, Lana Albert. I teach you every Sunday. I'm learning a lot. I'm using some of your remedies. And thank you for that. Rita, you're doing a good job. Thank you so much. Nard Campbell. Did I see you before? I'm not sure, but welcome, welcome. I love you. Your beautiful tips. We need you, beautiful lady. And thank you. And I need you also to for your support. Paulette, how are you? Um, stress can cause um, under eyes. Yes. So we just talk about the stress. Now, when it comes on to dark circles, quick, the fastest thing that a lot of people tend to practice is when they wake up, they just try to use some cold compress and try to, to see if it will go away. And some people tend to turn to the good old cucumber, which is always there, that is gonna be good overall. Now for me, guys, I am gonna tell you what I use for dark circles. And some of you are new, so some of you are not aware that I do suffer from dark on the eye circle. Well, I probably should say not anymore. But if you go back to my old videos and watch, actually, this was one thing that people used to come at me, come at me, come at me, come at me, like, um, oh, you're doing skincare video, but why are you on the eyes? It's so dark. Like, they used to, like, just come at me. If I didn't have thick skin, I probably wouldn't even continue with the channel. That's how bad it was. But guess what, guys? I approved them wrong because I started to use my own personal homemade remedies for my dog on the eye circles. And today I could come on the channel without makeup, without 
anything and you guys will notice that uh uh they're not there however we all know that these things do come back and you got to keep going at it keep going at it doing what you need to do to prevent or to get rid of the dog on the eye circle the honest truth is my favorite 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 ingredient for the dog on the eye circles is the parsley and parsley is loaded with vitamin k and if there's one vitamin that you need for your dog circles is a vitamin k and you can find vitamin k in most green leafy vegetable the vegetable that have the most vitamin k is kale and uh, about, I'm gonna say a past three years or so ago, three to four years, don't quote me wrong, Kale was on a mission, okay? Kale was taking over skincare world, beauty world, health world by storm. People were making kale smoothie. People were making kale salad. People were doing so much with kale. It's like they finally discovered that kale contained so much important vitamins and minerals for your system on a whole. I look at kale and I'm looking at it for the vitamin K. Kale actually have 24% um, vitamin K, your daily um, recommended um, amount of vitamin K that you need for your body. That's kale. A next one online is color green. Some people love them some color green. I wasn't introduced to color green when I was living in Jamaica. When I came here in the state and they have Thanksgiving and all of that, and when you go to the soul food restaurant, they have color green. At first, I didn't like it because I think that it have a, a bitter taste to it. And I also find that some people make it and it's a little hard. So I didn't like kale at all. But guess what? When I do my research on kale and find out of all all the vitamins and all the many properties and good stuff that it can do to my body. Bring on the kale, bring on the kale. You see me, I could go to a nice restaurant, soul food, and I'm ordering kale. Do I like it like that? No, but because I know that it's so good for my body, I am definitely eating the kale. If you go back on my channel and you watch like like really really old video i actually made a video made using the kale and i actually make it as a facial toner for the skin i probably should bring that back but kale is really really i mean not kale guys sorry i switched kale is good but color green is good for you i mix it up when i said i order the kale but i order the color green but those two have the most vitamin k so i use a lot of green tea on the channel when it comes down to dark circles i use a lot of parsley but i'm gonna bring you guys a video soon juicing that kale and making mixing it with the parsley with some coconut oil and I'm already giving you guys the recipe and give it a go because the the parsley I swear by when I said I swear by the parsley I swear by the parsley for the dog on the eye circles okay so you can mix that parsley with any oil you want you can mix it with some coconut oil and I have some amazing you know you don't even have to think for yourself because I have some amazing recipe on the channel that you can go and look at and try to do some of them for your dog on the eye circles. Now, another tip that I have for you for the dog on the eye circles is the same tip that I gave you for here. And also for those of you with the wrinkles under your eyes, this is gonna work also. You're gonna boot circulation by massaging your under eyes. For video way holder videos or probably in some of the Let's Talk Skincare with Chichi Beauty, I actually um, teach you guys how to massage your under eyes and also how to exfoliate your under eyes so that whatever remedy you're using or your eye cream can actually seep right into there. Remember that this is the most delicate area on your face. Very, very delicate. The skin is extremely thin. You don't need to be tugging, pulling, rubbing too hard. You have to be like really, really gentle. If you're like a rough person, that's one place you got to be careful with. So what I do, I just take my finger like this and I just this little part right here yes guys my nails are totally clean today and I just dab it under like that just 
I'm actually doing it now. I like to balance. So this is how I massage my under eyes. And most of the time when I'm doing this, I'm applying something under there. Most of the time. But you can do use nothing under your under eyes and practice to do that. And believe me, guys, no joke. Try it if you think I'm, I'm bluffing. Or try it if you think I'm exaggerating. Just try to do that. And for those of you with that puffy eyes also, you can actually get up and do that. We're going to get the puffy eye, eyes in a why but we're talking about the dark on the eye circle so once you do that on a regular when you're applying your serums your um homemade remedies your mixture that i made on this channel for your dark on the eye circles you're gonna reap even better result if you have a question about dark on the eye circles or you have a good remedy or one of my remedy that you have tried that is actually helping you Please comment, comment, comment. And while you are at it, give the video a thumbs up to support the channel. Annette Blanco, parsley is no joke. It works for me. Thanks, Gigi. And see what I mean? We have some people think just like me. It is really a no joke. It is really a good remedy. All right. So we have um we have Gail. Hi there. Have great result with your tips. Thank you so much for that. And that's Gail. Um um, Dut, Dutty, I think it's pronounced, Miranda. Also, we have um, Shari Ingram. Hello, all. New to the chat. This is wonderful. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And um, that surname, Ingram, when I was growing up, I have a friend um, with that last name. Haven't seen her for a while. And it's kind of strange to see the word Ingram right now. All right. So we have um, Nazi. Hi, Chichi and everyone. Welcome. Wendy Williams. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. Stella Natif, I think that's pronounced. Welcome, welcome, welcome. They are below. How are you? Regular on the chat. I should make you some color green, Chichi. Or maybe leave you a recipe. Um, it's Irie. Yes. I I. I Actually, I've never ever cooked it for myself, which I should try to start doing it. But eventually, but, all right, send me the recipe. And where are you located? Okay, let me know so I could come and get some really good color green. And make sure it's not hard because that's the problem I have. When the color green is a little hard, it's like, hmm, because I'm Jamaican. I'm used to color loo, you know, color loo, our Jamaican color loo, which is soft. Like, you know, so I'm just thinking the color green should be like, you know, soft, but it's not that soft. But if you can make it soft and make it, you know, nice for me to start loving it, um, I really would love to try it. Terry Moss, hello, I love your video. Great remedies and great advice. Thank you so much for that. We have Chandidi. Chandadi, Chandadi, I think that is our Chandani, however, Prasad. Hello, dear, loving your tips. Thank you so much. Golden family, welcome to the chat. Now, if you're just joining in, we're talking about dark circles right now. We just spoke about crow's feet that we share a little tips and tricks that you can use to get rid of those crow's feet. We also give some insight on how early you could actually start seeing the crow's feet and ingredients, natural ingredient that you can use to prevent the crow's feet. All right, guys. So, um, we talk about, um, I'm watching the time, so I probably should spend a few more minutes talking about the dark on the eye circles since most of you, um, you know, do have that issue. Now, you have oils that are good for dark on the eye circles. And the best oils out there, and you know I'm going to say the avocado oil, okay? The avocado oil is good. If you can get avocado oil along with fresh avocado, you're in business, okay? Now, the parsley, guys. Parsley. I made a parsley video. And if you have watched it and use it, let me know. What I use in it, believe it or not, was the good old petroleum jelly. And petroleum jelly is really mineral oil. And some of the products that you're buying out there for your dog on the eyes do have mineral oil and petroleum jelly, petroleum jelly in it. What I did, I juice the parsley. And the way I juice the parsley is not adding any water whatsoever. Parsley don't have a lot of juice, so you know it's a process. The easiest way to get the juice is to get a bottle, put a bunch of parsley the old school way, because when you blend it, it's going to be dry. And you just pound that parsley, pound it, pound it, till you can't pound it no more. They would say beat the hell out of the parsley. And then you get a cheesecloth, and you just squeeze it, and then you're going to get the natural juice. What I did, I take that natural juice, I melt that 
um, petroleum jelly and I blend while it was hot, the petroleum jelly, I blend the parsley juice in it, blend it up in a blender, it come out with a peak. And I think I had a little rose water to it. Come out like peak, like really, really creamy. And that I use, that actually works. And that is one of my parsley recipe. I made a new one the other day and I put some new ingredient in it. You guys should go and watch that. But I'm telling you, the parsley is no joke. Another way I like to use that parsley is just dump it in the blender with some green tea water, blend it out, blend it out and strain it and get some cotton pads, dip it in there, put it over my eyes go and relax for half an hour and then i rinse it off amazing 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 no joke okay so do the avocado with that parsley now when you're done with all the remedies that you have to rinse off then you use your wonderful and amazing oil almond oil is good for dark under eye circles along with as i said the avocado oil another oil that is tested proven and is always always good for anything around this area is vitamin e oil regardless of the strength of the vitamin e no vitamin e oil get an oil that is loaded with vitamin e such as the avocado oil I'm preaching the avocado oil today a lot. Another oil that is amazing is grapeseed oil. Light, penetrate deep into the skin and really take care of the dark on the eye circles. Sleep, drink water, flush the system out and stop stressing. Okay? Easier said than done. All right. So... Chrissy cooking, great topic. And I'm, I'm enjoying the show. Thank you so much for that. Um, Golden Family, I need to watch the video. Definitely. Hello, Alice Day. How are you? Have a blessed Sunday. And that's my aunt right there. I miss you so much. Hurry up and come back. All right. So we are moving on. Diablo, all right. You were. Hello, Taryn G. How are you? I love colored green and colorloo. All right. Now, for some people like um, in Guyana, they don't callaloo when we say callaloo is actually a dish in jamaica when we say callaloo we're actually talking about a plant uh, that is similar to it don't really look like spinach but you get like the same result and uh, that's what we call callaloo recently i get to understand that in guyana they use that too but they don't call it callaloo they call the dish itself callaloo just making it straight so for some people when i said callaloo like most people might not know what color loo is but it's just a green leafy vegetable just the way you have um spinach totally grow different but like spinach and color green and those things um so we're moving on beatrice i love it they are so wonderful thank you for that hello moha how are you doing a full body routine coming up all right definitely definitely i'll put my bad suit on i step in the shower and start from my hair all the way down to my toe i used to make some videos where i show a little more but you know the system tend to cut down on those videos and that's why sometimes i stay away from really sharing really sharing like more body body stuff or we take care of stuff we kind of cut that down because they're giving us a hard time and we have um um camille k-e-c-e-m-i-a-r camille camille if i'm pronouncing it right let me know all right i'm gonna try again is simil i think in your language but for me it would be um Camille, I'm watching from Turkey. You are perfect. Thank you so much for your comment. Wendy, when using the vitamin E for dark circle, how long will it take to notice a difference? Here is the trick, guys, and listen carefully. And this is something that I always stress on. I could use vitamin E oil on my skin and I see result the next day. You could use it on your skin. You see result after a week. Another person might see result after a month. Some people might see no result at all. And that's because of the different environment, your different skin type, and a lot have to go in it. However, if you follow some simple tricks and simple practice, you will see some form of a result. And the simple tip and simple practice is just to clean that area. Believe it or not, a lot of times we focus like we're washing our face. Boom, 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 boom. And this area, we totally ignore it. We exfoliate our face. Boom, boom, boom. We totally exfoliate, ex exclude this area. And the reason why I mentioned the face different from this area is because I normally separate it, okay? I don't consider this part my face. 
it's my the areas around my eyes and that is because you have to pay special attention and you have to take care of that area different from the rest of your face my trick and my go-to for cleaning the areas around my eyes is to use my wash rod. No joke, no joke, no joke. I wear makeup and I will take my makeup off with some coconut oil or even some Vaseline. And when I take it off and I go in the shower, I do everything in the shower because I don't like a mess with my base. And I'm not the type to go over my base and be washing my face. I feel like it's a waste of time because when I'm done washing my face, I will have to wipe the basin off. I wash the basin and I can't bother. I stop in the shower and I do the same thing. I step out of the shower. I don't have to scour the tub at the same time. You know, just me. Anyway, so I take my wash and I don't like a wet basin. Don't leave my basin in my bathroom wet. I go crazy. Like make sure it's dry, like really dry and smell good. Anyway, just a little thing about me, guys. Sometimes you guys don't know things about me. I could be crazy, you know? I, however, guys, quick side side note. Do you find that you get more organized in your older age or you were more organized when you were younger? I think I was more organized when I was younger, to be honest. I used to be like a neat freak. Like everything have to be laid out. Like everything. Look at that around here. What is that? In my younger days, that would never, ever be. All of those things up there, as a matter of fact, would be clean. I probably would only have the candle and the lamp up there. All that clutter. But all those clutter up there, some PR stuff. And I put them there not to forget. But people used to not like to be around me at my home to be honest they'll meet me outside i could come by them they don't want to come by my house because they have to be too confined and after a while i realized it's a waste of time and energy i'm walking behind people fixing up pillows straightening it out fluffing it up come on stop that stop that stop that i have guests over now they make a mess i'm walking around smiling because you know i ain't stressing out myself i'm not giving myself dark circles nor am i going to give myself crow's feet, nor am I going to give myself an early, you know, art attack or something. Nope, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, I stop. What is it for you guys? Do you find yourself to be more organized when you were younger or are you more organized now? We're not really sidestepping from dark on the eye circle. We're getting back to it right now. So this is how I do my wash rag. And I put my finger like this, whether I have long nails on, yes or no. And when I do that, I start to rub this slowly back and forth, back and forth, slowly. And I would go and I take my sweet little time and I do it. That is me exfoliating and cleaning my under eyes. The reason why, as much as it is very thin, it still needs to be exfoliated. It still has dead skin cell. You still need to clean it because you want your vitamin E oil or whatever eye cream that you're using under there to penetrate in the layer. We're not talking about the layer of the skin today, guys, because some of you is going to leave. All right. So we need the treatment, the remedy, the oils, the portion, whatever it is you use to penetrate the skin. So you need it to be clean. So that's what I do. And I use my wash rag and then I rinse off. We also have some scrub with very fine granules that if you pay attention or you take your time, you could place it. Some stuff I make, I would be like, bring this one as close as possible under your eyes. Okay. So you just use your finger, you circulate it, circulate it and wash the area around your eyes. Whenever you go wash your face, pay attention to it. For those of you with puffy eyes, dark on the eye circles, eye bags, pay attention to that area. If you do, you're going to see results with the natural remedies. It's no joke. Okay. Some people think this is all gimmick, but it's not gimmick. The same, if you have to buy a store-bought lotion or eye cream or eye serum, the same way you're going to prepare the area so that it could absorb so that the remedy could work. Okay. Con Calm, continue to use it until you see results. For vitamin E, to answer your question, I think I did by telling you that everyone's skin is different. However, if you do some extra step, like cleaning the areas and applying it, within a week or two, you should see some form of a fading. I'm going to give you a quick tip. If you have turmeric powder, 
take a little bit of the vitamin E oil, mix it up, no big bowl or anything, put it in your hand, do a little thing and use that turmeric powder with the vitamin E oil, rub it just as I was telling you to do it with your wash rug or your finger, rub it on for about two to three minutes, rinse it off, do that on a regular, it's gonna help to fade that dark area also. No joke, no joke, no jerk, 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 jerk. Official, um, official, um, official to Anne TV watching from Germany and it's late here. Good night to you all. I know, I know, I know I'm trying, I'm trying to accommodate some of you guys. I decided that one night I'm going to get up and do a midnight show. And I'm going to do the midnight show because some of you guys are so like, oh, we can't catch the live. We can't catch the live because like now, like England, I think it's around about 11 something. Like people in like India, they're sleeping. So I know, I know, I know, I know. So I'm working at it. Okay. All right. Uh, Lucy, OMG, everyone love me to visit because I clean their house. Oh, come over here, Lucy. I clean their house. I'm the organized queen. My pantry and jars are like... Like soldiers in a line need free crocs. And guess what? If my family members on the chat, my, I just saw my auntie, I just saw Pauline, and they would tell you that, that I was that person, Lucy. Believe it or not, I was that person. I like the way I am now. I, my bedroom still have to look a certain way, certain areas. My bathroom have to be clean. My kitchen have to be clean. Like, I don't know. I have a thing. I don't want to see nothing dirty in the kitchen, believe it or not. And the bathroom, the bathroom have to be clean. You can mess up anywhere else in the house now, that is, that I'm older. But my bathroom and my kitchen, don't play with me. Don't play with me. Wash the spoon, okay? Take the spoon up and wash it. It take one minute. I still have that with the kitchen. And with my bathroom, don't leave my basin wet and why you leave the mat? Why you don't straighten the mat out? I'm still like that with those two areas. But the other areas, I'm, you know, calming myself like calming myself down and lucy you can come and visit anytime okay it's a lot of work though my auntie you need to tell you it's a lot of work all right so we are moving on sharon ferguson i'm connecting from jamaica and how is it out there in the beautiful island of jamaica well you know in jamaica a lot of times i don't talk about this i'm not sidetracking guys i'm just entertaining you guys a little little quick tip about me i'm actually from a place in jamaica that they called west prospect that is where i'm from i was born in a really remote um, country area in Jamaica that they call Omili. It's really hard. You have to Google it on the Google um, world thing to find it. Omili. And that's where my mom is from. And this little area um, called West Prospect, right off Bog Walk, right off Nallis. That is where I am from. And they have a bridge there that, you know, years ago when water come down, blah, blah, blah. So that is where I grew up. I grew up in a little community, a very small, tight-knit um, community called West Prospect. And anyone out there watching from West Prospect, I doubt it. Um, welcome to the chat. So I lived there until I was um, 17 years old. And then, you know, I just take my wings and I just, you know, just uh, flew to the big city. I was always a city girl in at heart. But anyway, that's just a little bit about me and where I am actually from. All right, Lerbert, how are you? Welcome. I think Lerbert is cooking today. I'm not sure, but let's see. Um, great to be here in the live chats. Um, a sunny Sunday despite the shower of rain in Jamaica. Hope things are all good with you all. And okay, sunny, sunny and rain. Rain is good. You know, you need a little water. All right, guys. So we are going to talk. If you're watching and you have not yet subscribed, subscribe. I do understand some people is new to the chat. The subscribe button is below. Also, if you're watching and you have not... um yet thumbs the video up go ahead and give the video a thumbs up pamela robinson watching from jamaica also and um let's see if there's anyone watching from jamaica um pamela robinson is from spanish town not having enough sleep so i have baggy eyes and we are that's the perfect one because we're gonna go right into ba um, baggy eyes i went to st catherine high school in jamaica so i know the spanish town era very very well very 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 well all right so we are gonna to talk about eye bags now guys a lot of people tend to confuse eye bags with puffy eyes 
It's different, but some people think it's the same. It's different. And the reason why it's different is the way you got them, okay? Um, eye box could be genetics, okay? Eye box also comes with old age. When you're getting older, you get eye bags. However, puffy eyes could be temporary. Puffy eyes come with your body locking of sleep. Puffy eye coming with tiredness. Puffy eye coming with water retention. So puffy eyes is different from eye bag. So to treat any of these with your own remedies, you need to know exactly what you have. Do you have puffy eyes or do you have eye bag? However, my Parsley leaves is going to take care of whichever one you have. Oh, the puffy eyes, you will see go away really, really fast, okay? When you use these natural remedies, you could get rid of the puffy eye, one, two, three. The eye bags is a different story. It's a process, and it's going to take longer, and most of the time, it might decrease, but it might not completely go away, all right? So for those of you like are getting older and the severe eye bags, that is is some genetics or with old age, you use the remedy, it's going to decrease. It might not totally, totally disappear like the puffy eyes. Okay. So please know the difference. Now, what are some good remedies for puffy eyes? The faithful avocado, the good old green tea or matcha powder, anything with vitamin K. Notice that some of these ingredients are being repeated because it's this ingredient that I chose is really good for the entire areas around the eyes. Another overlook ingredient when it comes down to puffy eyes is coffee, guys. Coffee is amazing for puffy eyes. All right. So what you need to do is just brew that coffee or when you make your freshly brewed coffee and you have the leftover, I don't drink the leftover for some reason. I can't drink Unless it's the summertime, then I'm going to put it in the fridge and make iced tea. But when I brew the coffee in the morning, I'm not going to go back and drink that same coffee tomorrow if it wasn't finished. So what I do with that, I use it on my face and in my facial, you know, remedies. But if you have puffy eyes, that's a good um, remedy for the puffy eyes. You also have like baking soda can help with the puffy eyes. You can also use the back of the spoon. That's one remedy that I tried that I thought was bluff, but it's actually work. That could work under your, your eyes for the puffy eyes. And remember, we're talking about puffy eyes, not eye bags. Different, but they do um, get result using the same treatment. Any cream you're going to buy out there with vitamin K for your under eyes. Read the back of the ingredient. A good oil also for puffy eyes is rose hip oil. Rose hip oil is good and almond oil is also good. And don't forget to, the vitamin um, E oil. All right, so let's move on a little. Um, they are below. I jockey boogie down Bronx here and someone is out all the way up in the Bronx, <laughs> pretty close to me. All right, so anyway, we are moving on. If you have a question about puffy eyes or eye bags, this is the time that you can choose to ask it. If you're just joining in and you have not yet, thumbs the video up, thumbs up. What we were talking about earlier, we divide it up, we're getting a little organized. We talk about crow's feet at the beginning of the 15 minutes, and then we talk about dark under eye circles, and we are now talking about uh, puffy eyes and eye bags, we differentiate from what is puffy eye and what is eye bags. And now we're talking about natural remedies or remedies on a whole that you can use to get rid of either the puffy eyes or decrease the eye bags significantly. All right, so um, Lana Halberg, um, Chichi, I taught at St. Catherine Eye. When did you leave St. Catherine Eye? Oh, Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. So I left. Oh, my. Well, I taught my age these days, so nothing is wrong. 1987 was my graduation. 1987. All right. So, man, that made me so old. <laughs> All right. If you're watching, most of you already know I'm 50 years old, like really 50 years old. And I'm 50 and proud. All right. Anyway, V. Christine. Christian, be Christian. I'm from California, but moved to Arkansas temporarily. Um, temporary. I've been watching your video for a few months ago and using your recipe. Thank you. And thank you so much for your support. All right. So Jackie Mom, I'm originally from Westmoreland and we live in Spanish Town. Now I reside in the Bronx. And guess what? Uh, my grandma was living in Westmoreland. And Westmoreland, I'm telling you something. 
my sister. Anyway, we're not getting into that because then this is going to turn all into my Jamaican people just commenting. All right, so we are talking about puffy eyes and remedies for the eye bags and the puffiness. Now, guys, eyes. When you go to sleep and you wake up and you see that puffy eyes, crying. Some of you cry a lot. When you cry a lot, you're giving yourself puffy eyes. That could cause your eyes to get puffy. Remember, that's also temporary. Ice, a cold compact, will help to decrease that puffy eyes. The massage that I just showed you will help to decrease the eye bags. Okay, remember, it's two different things. The massaging technique will do a great job for your eye bags, but you can't do it one day and stop. You got to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. We also know that you could get the puffy eyes from sinus. Some of you have sinus, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's could give you the puffy eyes, okay? Not the eye bags. The eye bags, as I said, come with age. It could be genetics and other factors, okay? Water retention and all of that. Okay, so we're talking about crying and lack of sleep gonna give you the puffy eyes now. For those of you with the eye bags, remember I talk about the blinking for the crow's feet. If you have the eye bags. The blink action, according to my research, I've not yet like totally proven it, so I'm keeping it real with you guys, will help with the eye bags. But more than anything else, the vitamin K are my parsley remedies for the eye bags with your little dabbing technique going on. You have eye bags, do this every day. And all you need is two minutes. Just keep dabbing it, dabbing it, dabbing it, even if you have nothing on it. Just play with your under eyes like that. It's going to boost circulation and it's going to help to decrease the eye bags. I would put some avocado oil while I'm at it. And I would also use all the wonderful remedies that I shared on this channel. This is exactly all my under eyes. I'm dragging it down for you to see. I don't have eye bags. I don't have puffy eyes. I don't have um, crow's feet. I used to have crow's um I, um, dark circles. I get eye bags sometimes. Well, this never really start to, to come up. And I really swear by my natural remedies. No joke. Now, there's something that you guys need to know about my channel, which sometimes I really don't talk about things. I make videos. And 90% of the time, you're going to see some of my videos being demonstrated by other people like I am the feeding tree. I know that. It's okay. It's okay. I see people make my videos over like word for word, word for word, tita 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 tita, and they even get more views than me. But it's okay. It's okay. Now, when I present something to you guys, the difference with my videos is that I take the time to research the ingredient. I asked a lot of questions. When I was growing up, I used to ask a lot of questions. And that is still something that I do today. So if you see I make a video and I use, let's say, some, some papaya, it don't mean that I just think that the papaya is going to work. It means, one, I research it. Two, I try it on my skin. And three, I share it with you guys. So that is what makes the difference. When I'm making my videos, I don't just throw ingredients together. Sometimes I have two ingredients. Sometimes I have three. Sometimes I have even up to six. And I just don't sit down and just throw things together like, okay, I have avocado. I'm going to put some oil in it. No, uh, 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 uh. I have to know why I'm putting that oil in and what benefit does that particular oil have for my skin or for the issues that I'm making this particular remedy for. So if I put some papaya um, on the table and I'm putting some rosehip oil in it, I'm putting the rosehip oil in it because I know the rosehip oil is going to help to get rid of wrinkles on the fine lines. And that is how I make my remedies. When it comes on to wrinkles, I like to use like the green tea. And that's because it's loaded with antioxidants that will have to boost the collagen. You probably could repeat these things now, but it's because I make the video and I research the ingredient and I know what they are for. And when I know that this are vitamin A, this are vitamin A, vitamin A have to boost the collagen in the skin and I get a base and my base could be some oatmeal which have absorbing properties which will have to 
on oily skin, then I just mix all of that together and there you have your remedy. So that's what makes my recipe different. Well thought out, not just stuff that I'm throwing around or playing games with, okay? Because guess what? Guess who is have to use it first? Me? I have to use it first. I demonstrate everything. I make my stuff. I test them. And if it don't suit me, I'm not sharing it. That's how I go about it. And that's why sometimes my videos are late. Because if I make something and I'm not feeling it, and I don't feel like, mm, I got to do it over. I'm not going to share it. So I hope you understand where my recipes and my remedies and all of that and how I sit and behind the scene really work and bringing you guys something that will help and is helping a lot of you. And some of you don't even watch the live. Some of you just, just email, but on a regular, like in any given day on my channel, I get like at least 300,000, sometimes 500, sometimes more views per day on all the videos because I have videos like from way, way back. I might post a video, you might see it like 10,000 this week, but check it back a month or two from now, you might see that it have 90,000 views or 60,000 views or up to a hundred or a million views. You just never know. So that is why I can't be putting out like, you know, trash out there. I got to know what I'm putting out out there because people are actually using these things. Not only that, my credibility and the fact that I want my own skincare line. And when I have it, I want people to understand that this is good stuff and not just gimmick. Okay. So, you know, I stray a little bit from the topic, but I'm human. And sometimes we really need to explain these things to you guys. So Annette William, okay. You're getting ready for the next two days for, are you staying at home? For the next two days, I have so much work. Like, I have a lot of work, guys. Like, I work hard, like, believe it or not. Like, early in the morning, after 5, I'm up, going to bed, after 12, after 1, after 2 a.m. But we'll see how it goes. Anyway, guys, I have my time is up. We talk a little bit. I still have some notes here. I can never ever follow the notes. Oh, boy. Somehow I learned to follow the notes very soon. But because I research things for myself, like, you know, I already know what I'm going to talk about. But I hope you learned something. And if you want more live chat, more demonstration when it comes on to the areas, if you want me to see how I treat the areas around my eyes, like in a video, just really start from start to finish, I could do that for you. And if you want to see how dark the areas under my eyes were and how I was looking like three years ago, just go back and watch some older videos. They're there in print, like, like really, really in print. I think I look so much better now. My skin is looking amazing since I started dedicating myself to using my own stuff. No joke. You don't believe? Go and watch two old videos like two years ago and come back and leave a comment. So I hope you learned something today. I hope you enjoyed the chat today. And thank you all my members and thank you all my subscribers. Thank you all my faithful people. People that watch don't subscribe still watch subscribe watch don't comment thank you so much and thank you Lucy for moderating the chat and for being here always I love you guys and I'll see you I'm thinking I'm gonna have a midweek show this week late in the night like eight o'clock nine o'clock don't hold me to it but you'll know you'll get the um, notification and I'm still taking up the la the uh, below with that color green. Have a great week, guys. Go and watch the video I post this morning. It's a really good combination. Okay. It's really good. No joke. It's really, really, I wish I have it here with me. It's really good. Watch that video. And if you could make it, make that cream. It's really, really good. No joke. It just seep into your skin and just disappear. You wake up in the morning, you feel good. It's really a good one. And if I put a stamp on it, you know, I wouldn't send you guys to watch it. So support the channel by watching that video. And I'll see you next week. Happy weekend. I think in Jamaica, they're celebrating or everywhere. How does it work again? I get so Americanized when it comes on to the holidays because after working for so many years and all of that, you don't even remember certain holidays except what you get here. Um, what is it? Ash Wednesday, I think. If, I don't remember, but something is coming up next week, I think. All right. So if you write, remember what is coming up next week, let me know. Oh, yeah. Ash Wednesday. And you know, Ash Wednesday, the show is over, guys. So I could chit chat a little. I always, there's this place in the city, this church, um, very popular church. 
that they always go on an Ash Wednesday. I used to work in the city and normally see people walking around with the ash on their forehead. And the honest truth is I always want to go and get the ash on my forehead. Like I really want to go, but I never ever have the time to go, right? So I know I'm not going to be able to make it on Wednesday to go get that ash, but that's something I always want to experience. You know, I think it's the priest or something, just put the ash on the forehead. Anyway, that's some religious stuff there and we got to go. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great week, guys. Go try a facial. Try one remedy. If you have not tried anything at all before, just choose one that you have all the ingredients and try it. No joke. Just try one. That's all I ask. Once you try one, you're going to be hooked and come back and comment. Have a great week, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, Lerbert. Bye, Magdalene, Jill, and uh, Alexa, and everyone else on the chat. Bye-bye.